Hello, hello, Facebook Live and eventually YouTube, where I've been sharing my vlogging videos this week. I hope you guys can hear me. I have my earphones in tonight because I've got my kids in the other room, so I just want to make sure that you can hear me. I usually don't have to do this. So let's make sure. Yep, oh, there I am. There is my voice. <laughs> so we're good. Hey, Jen Rose. <laughs> so you all know those moments in your life where everything seems clear, or at least a little bit more clear, and you feel like you're on the right track and you're in the right place, or at least you know where you want to go. That's what I want to talk about tonight. Now I had a totally, I'll be honest with you, if you didn't know I am doing this vlog challenge where I am vlogging every day in April, it's way harder than I thought it would. It's just as hard as an exercise challenge for those of you guys who are, started my upper body blast today. Hey Jen Smith, Jen, you're gonna love this, what, what I'm talking about tonight. I even have my tissue and water with me because in case you didn't know, I'm 30 weeks pregnant so I'm prepared that I might cry. <laughs> So I had a totally different topic prepared and then Amy, who is leading this vlogging challenge that I'm doing, who is the creator of Savvy Sexy Social, she talked about her game-changing moment yesterday and, you know, encouraged us to do the same. And I immediately jumped on board because what I realized is I didn't know that my game-changing moments were happening when they were happening. And it made me really think back to some pretty significant moments in my life. <clears throat> Excuse me, I seem to be losing my voice. It might just be that it's late. So before I go there, in case you are not familiar with me, my name is Sarah Haley. I am best known for my pre- and postnatal expertise in fitness. Uh, and you can go onto my website, sarahaley.com, and read all about what I've done in fitness because it's kind of a smorgasbord of probably everything you've heard about in fitness I've done at some point I feel like in my life but more importantly I'm also a mom of two soon to be three I have two boys and a baby on the way this all actually has something to do with what I'm talking about tonight because when my friend Amy was talking about her game-changing moment it was for her business when she decided to move into working in social media which is her expertise so I, of course, thought, well, what was my game-changing moment for working in pre- and postnatal? And obviously, that has a lot to do with me getting pregnant. But what I realized, what I really thought about it, was that it went back farther. It went back way before then. And I also realized I have not given two people who were pretty significant clients in my life a lot of props. And... So the first game-changing moment I had was my first prenatal client. So my first client that I ever had when I was uh, when when she was pregnant. I was not pregnant yet. Um, this is oh probably uh, uh, maybe a year or two before I got pregnant. Uh, Melanie and she was my first prenatal client, and I was working for another trainer at the time. And this trainer had women training, not just women, men too, but. Everybody trained in a really hot room. And I think I was her only trainer that was pre- and postnatal certified, which I knew that this was going to be a challenge because pregnant women getting hot is not something that we recommend. So I literally had to have like washcloths on me. It was it was not the best process because that to me is not a fun workout where I'm having to like wipe you down and damp you down. But what it did teach me was how to really check in with a client and make sure that they're in a really healthy place. And I realized also with pregnancy how drastically things change day to day because my client had morning sickness and sometimes she would cancel on me at the last minute. And I, and I never charged her for those things because I realized she had no control over those things. So just so you guys know, if anybody's out there training pregnant women, please don't charge them when they can't come to your session last minute because morning sickness can come on really suddenly. And I also realized how significant my role as a trainer became because, oh, thanks for sharing, John. I really appreciate that. Um, 
I realized how important my role as a trainer became, not only from the physical standpoint of keeping this pregnant woman safe and, and helping her along her pregnancy journey to keep her baby safe and make smart decisions. I mean, that is first and foremost why it's really great to work out with a trainer when you're pregnant. But m more importantly, and I know this sounds strange that this is more important to me, or, or maybe it doesn't, that I made her feel normal for those nine months. <laughs> At least I hope I did, Melanie. Um, if you get a chance to watch this, I know she's not on here live right now, but I feel like exercise, and maybe this is just me projecting as a pregnant woman, but you're in such a non-normal situation. Your body doesn't feel like it's your own, but moving and exercising, especially if you exercise prior to your pregnancy, feels so great. It's why I like to dance through my pregnancies. Thanks for sharing, Miranda. And uh, I'm hoping that some of the people that get to watch this are trainers and, and they'll understand how rewarding it really is to train a pregnant woman. So I, looking back, I, I realized that training Melanie, and I'm going to get emotional because I don't think she knows this. Uh, now she's a mom of three and this was her first pregnancy. How much that changed my path. Oh, I'm so pregnant, you guys. <laughs> But working with her really gave me um, a greater purpose because I'll be honest with you, I've always loved group exercise more than I've loved one-on-one -on -one training. But Melanie and another, <laughs> thanks Jen, she's like, Jen who's pregnant too, she's like, I totally get it. Um, but the other woman that I'm going to talk about too is the two of them really showed me how important it was to stay healthy during your pregnancies and make really smart decisions. So thank you, Melanie. <laughs> the second quick story, so I don't, I have three, basically three game changing moments. So that for me, I think, although I didn't realize it at the time, really set my path to have prenatal be a specialty of mine. Because that, like I said, at that time, um, for this woman, this celebrity tra trainer that I was working for, uh, I, uh, I was the only one, I was the only trainer. And sadly, there are not that many of us out there that specialized in pre and postnatal. And the weird part is, you guys, that job actually made me realize I didn't want to be a celebrity trainer. I found it so much more rewarding to work with women going through motherhood or about to go through motherhood than I did uh, with, for lack of a better word, famous people who um, I guess still needed a trainer, but in a different way, let's say. All right, the second game-changing moment was, and I believe Melanie crossed over with this woman, was um, my friend Jen. And by the way, both of these women I became very friendly with, um, even when I stopped training them and, and moved away. And so Jen was my first postnatal client, my first brand new mom, like six weeks out. Hey, Tara. Six weeks out, she'd had a C-section, and I started training her. And a similar process to Melanie. I won't dwell on it too much. I will say with Jen, what was so different um, was it was, you know, she had serious weight to lose. With Melanie, that was not our focus. Melanie was about the same stature as me, and uh, her, she just wanted to stay strong during her. She had very similar goals to the goals I have when I'm pregnant. She wanted to stay strong. She wanted to do something to distract her from her, you know, the crazy journey of pregnancy and feel normal. With Jen, we had like some work to do. We had weight loss goals. And the thing that wasn't different though was that I also quickly realized that the time she had with me training was such a release for her. For, it was, again, this was her first baby and, you know, it rocks your world. First time mom, even in, in the best ways it rocks your world. But it's so, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Pregnancy brain here. Uh, moms, help me out. It's so consuming emotionally and physically This when you become a mom for the first time and you have this new little creature it's overwhelming. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. It's so overwhelming in, in the best ways, too, that 
her time with me, again, to just shut off. I mean, that's to me what exercise is, to shut off from the rest of your life and just have this hour to move and enjoy your body and feel good and do something that's going to make you better. And I realized so quickly how that... And she was so happy. She was so happy every time she came in. She's, a, she's, a, in, in my opinion, she's a. She might not say this, but I think she's a really positive and fun person. Hey, Jenna. Uh, but that to me, I also realized in that moment that that was going to be such an important role that I wanted to continue to fill. And honestly, from there on out, after training Melanie and Jen, I believe, I think. Literally all my clients after that were moms. It was just who I gravitated to. Um, I think my boss at the time realized that that was my clientele. And I wasn't even a mom yet. Uh, nor was I even really thinking about that. And, and, and that's where I'm going to go next. But in the back of my head, I think I always knew I wanted to be a mom. But I didn't know that. I know, Jen, I'm having all these realizations right now. By the way, you guys, I realized half this stuff today when I really went down to think about it. Miranda, you are so on track. Self-care is so important. Yes, so you can be a good caretaker. Uh, and that was so, I guess that's what was so rewarding for me. Even though I didn't have kids yet, I knew that I was playing a significant role in these women's journeys through motherhood. And that's why I loved it. The part that I didn't know is that that was going to become my specialty. So let's fa fast forward to, I don't know if it was six months to a year later, and I have to preface this by saying that I, <laughs> I never know how to say this in a nice way. I never liked children. I never babysat. I was not a kid person. I, you know, people would, my friends who had their babies before me were like, do you want to hold my baby? And I was kind of like, mm no, I'm okay. <laughs> like I was not a baby person. I was not a kid person, but I still knew. And I think it's partly because I have such an amazing mom. I knew that I wanted to be a mom. So this is to me, this was, this is to me is the real game changing moment is that I was living in New York city. My husband and I were living in New York city. And by the way, my husband and I had been married at this point for like seven years. So my husband and I have been married since we were 24. We didn't have my oldest until we were 32. And I'm running down the uh, West Side Highway in New York City. And I'm seeing, like, families. Oh, my gosh. I'm here. I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> and I'm seeing families, and I'm bawling. Just bawling, you all. Uh, and I came home to my husband, and I was like, I don't know what's wrong with me. And he was, he's like, Sarah, I think we need to have a baby. I think it's time. And I was like, oh my God, I think you're right. You know, and I don't need to even go into all that. I'm sure all of you have had some sort of moment like that. And so uh, we were really lucky, you know, land, we got pregnant with Landon really quick. And I think quicker than we, either of us, even thought or planned on. Krista, what is up? Krista, you got to go back and watch the beginning of this because uh, my friend Krista's on here, you guys, who actually at one point in, in, in her life, was my, in our lives, was my student my dance student, but she, uh, I know that you have tons of pregnant clients coming into your, your room. Excuse me, you all. Uh, so you got to watch the beginning of this broadcast where I talk about that. So that was my game changing moment in terms of becoming a mom. That was when I knew I had to become a mom. And then I will just briefly a lot of you guys have heard this story. If you've heard any podcasts that I've ever been on, I know you know the story. But basically, once I became pregnant myself and realized what I needed for pregnancy to be fulfilled, to be challenged, to be to stay strong, to you know to have a healthy pregnancy, I knew that I needed to create material for that, and that was the beginning of Expecting More, which is my pregnancy workout program, which really uh, began my own company. So. Those three moments, you know, my first pregnancy client, my first postnatal new mom client, combined with me realizing that I was ready to be a mom, those to me were the game-changing moments for my career and really, and really my life. Um, and like I say, especially that last one when I made the transition into motherhood, because I love my work, you guys. I wouldn't do it otherwise. Uh, but I would give it all up for my kids. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to end there <laughs> before I totally lose it on camera, although I think I already did. Uh, 
if you aren't following me this month, I am vlogging every day in April. A big thanks to Amy who's running this challenge because I wouldn't have talked about this otherwise. Uh, it's, it's great therapy. And it's great to think about these things. It makes you feel really grateful, right? All right. <laughs> you know, Tara, so pregnant. I will hopefully see you all tomorrow. If you aren't already doing my Upper Body Blast, go to upperbodyblast.com. It's a totally free challenge, and we all started today. It's a 10-day challenge, so come join us with that. So fun to see so many of you on, and I will see you tomorrow.